How are we doing today, guys? Ryan and LJ here Hi, everybody. Uh, at Anglers. <laughs> um, and today we're bringing our fishing report to you guys. For sure. Yep. Um, so first, I'm gonna just start off uh, real quick with perch, pickerel, kind of your um, your fish up in the creeks, right? So what I've been using a lot lately are these uh, little spinners, either our classic perch hounder, I've found that Sartreuse is working really well in either the silver or the gold blade, but I've also found these super rooster tails are working really well, and I absolutely love this black color. It's a classic color, it just works, uh, mm -hmm. simply put. Um, is the water where you're fishing a little stained right now? Um, some actually when I was fishing uh, last weekend it was a little bit stained because we got all okay. that rain yeah um, and that's when I was that using this. That explains it yeah yep. for sure and yeah. um, with the chartreuse too. Yep exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now uh, fishing real shallow here uh, with a 1 8 ounce uh, the super mm. rooster but pulling a lot of white perch out of the shallow water still. <laughs> um, mixed in with some yellows also but um, the perch hounders with the being quarter ounce that's where you're gonna throw a little okay. bit deeper mm -hmm. but um, Moving on to some pickerel, I know they're feeding on some shad up in the river, so oh, nice. I have uh, a little jerk bait from Mega Bass that perfectly represents these shad. It sure does. That um, looks good. <laughs> yeah, so a little bit smaller size, but that mm -hmm. works really, really well. Um, and there's multiple ways of retrieving that, uh, either a, a twitch and pause or just a constant retrieve. Um, but yeah, and then also your classic float rig. So. We have our float rigs that we make here at Anglers. You could just uh, put a minnow on there and float it either behind your boat or behind your kayak and just slow drift with the wind. And that works really well for okay. pickerel and even nice. some yellow perch. Right. Oh, good, good. So good. Um, I know you've been doing some raw fishing in the main bay. A lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's go fire. ahead and go into that. It's fire. I yeah. mean, I got to say, it's it's hot. Yeah. So uh, the color, the, I'll just say this. It seems like 40 feet of water right now. Yep, is deeper, the number yeah for the 35 40 yeah. feet of water the birds tell you exactly where these things are and you know getting them to bite sometimes is a challenge um you want to it they'll they'll grab the tails a lot um okay. but they'll but then all of a sudden you'll get them yeah. and uh you know catching your limits not even an issue the the three best colors that are working right now are of course the hot chartreuse yeah, and the seven inch and the the xl pattern and the blues and these purples are just fantastic. Do not ignore these five inch paddle tails. And I know everybody says I, I rig them upside down, but they're right side up. <laughs> and the best thing about them is, is that you'll just jig them like any other jerk bait. Okay. Or like, I just call it the scared chicken and you just start burning it and then pause it and go twitch, yeah. twitch, twitch like a jerk bait yep. and then they'll nail it. So sometimes, like I said, it's a technical bite. So you got to keep mixing up your presentations yeah. throughout the yeah. day and don't be shy. I mean, I've seen them on, I've seen them on the blue mackerels. I've seen them on these new, new, uh, what do they call it? Pilchards. And that glows by the way. Oh, and then they'll turn on to the hot chartreuse. Yeah. So the th the nice thing is, is that well, hey, don't ignore the blue and the glow. You can get these at Anglers this week, and we just dropped these off. I, I, you know, talked about this previously. But the nice thing is, is that once you finish, you know, you got a, you got the rockfish, yeah. and you get the slack tight, and you have that bite slacks off. Yep. Yep. Um, these two colors of the one ounce rain minnow. If you have to go heavier than a one ounce, there those fish aren't going to bite. They, those those flounder and the black sea bass, they hunker down. And where are okay? you catching those? Um, uh, they're in about 35 feet of water okay. and you want a hard bottom. Yep. And you're, okay. you're down towards the southern end of the bay, right? Um, no, no. Right out of Chesapeake Beach. Okay. Yep. You know, the Stone Rock area yep. in the south. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. If you find any kind of structure in 35 feet of water, you are good to go. You gotcha. know, look for, look at the reefs. The key is go ahead and tip this with a piece of squid. Yeah. So that, like, uh, I squid come in, strips? No, I, just, I, I don't use them. I just use like uh, frozen shrimp. Uh, I come into anglers. Shrimp or squid? Squid. Squid, okay. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a, a box of uh, frozen squid. All right. Okay. It sounds gross, but I cut <laughs> its head off. Yeah. All right. Then I cut it in half. And then I open up the body and take the, the innards out. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, you know, strip it this way. All right. And then I'll cut it in half. And I'll take gotcha. the whole box and do the whole box. And yeah. then I'll divide them up into sandwich bags. And then, you know, I just throw them in the freezer. So I I'll end that. up with like three or four bags of of squid right okay and then you know when you go out and like i said when the bite lays down and the tide slacks there's other fish to target for sure so grab your rain minnows 
tip it with a piece of squid and just start dropping it down in about 35 feet of water. They'll move deeper as it gets colder. Yeah. But right now, that's that's where they're hanging. Yeah. 35, 40 feet of water. Yeah. So it's, it, there's a lot of great fishing. All these items are discounted, right? Yeah. Yeah, the that is correct. Nice. So all, all these plastics you see here, all these lures here, they're going to be 10% off. And I know your stuff, 20. Uh, the GIs, is all 20% off. Come grab so, it. <laughs> so, yeah, Get it while it lasts. And we did bring in a huge order. So yeah. they're gonna, anglers is going to be well stocked. Yeah. So you're not going to be disappointed when you come in here. You're going to sure. you're gonna yep. get something that you need for sure. Yep. All right, you guys, I think that just about wraps it up for our fishing report this week. Yeah. Um, you definitely catch mm -hmm. pickerel perch in the rivers and rockfish and then other species in the main bank. For so, sure. Yeah, yeah, get out there and have fun. Yeah, thanks for watching.